What's up, everybody? Welcome to Relationships with EJ80 Crew. Today, I'm talking about seven things that are true of all men everywhere. All men. Yes, your man too. Every man. But before we get into that, don't forget to hit that subscription button. Hit that notification bell so you always be notified the next time I put out a new video. Because trust me, you don't want to miss a beat. Leave a comment, hit that like button, and share, share, share. Your friends will thank you for it. All right. Number one, men sometimes want and need to be left alone. Ladies, I need you to understand something. Just because we need to be left alone doesn't mean we don't want you there. What I'm trying to say is that whether it's the job, the house, uh, the money problems, uh, they're raising the, the, the rent hikes and all of that and all these problems and protecting the family, all of this comes crashing down on him sometimes. And sometimes he just needs some, a, a minute alone to refocus himself, to re-understand what he's doing and how he's going to get it done because the ultimate pressure is on him to take care of his family. So uh, we don't really care where you go. You go in the other room, go to your girl's house, you know, go to a movie, wherever. Just leave us the hell alone for a little while. Let us get our act together. We'll text you or call you when you're allowed to come back to the house. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> oh, shoot. See what I get for being smart? Number two. Men don't always want to talk about it. Ladies, this is very important. I need you to understand the volatile uh, thinking of, of a man's Logic, when a man is upset about whatever, or he's feeling pressured about whatever, and he comes home, he has to readjust all his thinking from whatever the problem is to home life. And if he can't readjust that thinking, then he doesn't, he, he don't want to talk about it. He don't want to talk about it because you think... When he talks about it, it's going to come out like, yeah, dear, you know, they fired me at the job or they're threatening me. And, you know, I don't know. We might lose the house, but I'm sure I'll come up with a plan. That's how you think it's going to go. But because he hasn't made that adjustment, it's going to come out much different. Why the hell are you happy? And it ain't going to be pretty. And most of the time. It's going to sound like he blames you. Most of the time, you're going to take it personally. And he's going to say some things that you're going to feel is offensive to you. All because you wouldn't give him a second to readjust. And when he says, look, look I just don't want to talk about it. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Just If he don't want to talk about it, then fine. Don't talk about it. I guarantee you, once he brings himself back into perspective, he'll come back. He might even apologize for, for, you know, not talking to you. And even after that, if he still says, I just, just, I just don't want to get into it, then just let it go, ladies. Number three, it is possible, highly possible, that whatever he's upset about has nothing to do with you. Stop always looking for a way to make this man being upset be about you. If he says he doesn't want to he doesn't want to talk about it, it's not because he's mad at you. If he says I need a minute, just just leave me alone for a minute. It doesn't mean he's upset with you. There's a process that's got to be going on. You know, so whatever it is that he's upset about, there's a good chance you ain't got nothing to do with it. But you do have to understand it and let him handle his process so he can get 
through that moment and transition from wherever the problem is to his home. And then he could talk to you with some decency and some respect. You know, so don't be taking all of this personal. Oh, he don't want to talk to me. Fine. You don't have to talk to me ever. No, don't do that. You just compounding the problem. So most of the time it's not about you, ladies. Trust me. Number four. Men understand that some things just cannot be fixed. So, if he's talking to you about whatever the situation is, don't try to be mis mis fix it. Okay, don't try to have all the answers. Don't try to have all the examples. Don't try to have all of this and all of that. You know, because we understand it's happening to us. And we can't fix it. If I can't fix me, you can't either. So just let it go. Maybe you should just listen. All right? And stop trying to be Dr. Phil's wife. Because not everything can be fixed. Some things are broken and they just have to stay that way. (sighs) Number five. Men want you to stop trying to figure every goddamn thing out. And just be quiet sometimes. Sometimes the multiplicity of questions and interrogations that you women do is too much. It's too much. And I understand you have a need to want to know all the details. But sometimes you just go too far. Sometimes a man needs you to just sit, just be by him. You know, just be by him for a little support. Maybe lay your your head on his shoulder or something. And just don't say nothing. Let him talk. Let him be upset. Let him be silent. Let him cry or whatever he's doing. And just don't say anything. It's part of the process. Don't always have an answer for every goddamn thing or question because that don't help the situation. With all them goddamn questions, then you do become the problem. Now we mad at you for asking all them goddamn questions. So, don't always try to figure it out. Sometimes you just got to just be there for him and be there with him. And sometimes that is more than enough. Number six. This is an amazing concept that there's probably no woman on the planet that's going to, in fact, I might lose subscribers after this because no woman on the planet is going to believe this. Sometimes there is absolutely nothing wrong. Why did he, why he, he came home, he wasn't even smiling when he came in the door. I don't know. Maybe I'm tired. I just didn't feel like smiling. Well, he well he must be upset about something because he didn't have his afternoon drink. Maybe, maybe I didn't want the afternoon drink. I just wanted to get some work done. There's not always something wrong, ladies. No matter how our facial expressions are and we, 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 we sit in there with one eye open and the other one closed... All of this doesn't mean that we're upset about something, especially if we're quiet. Sometimes we just want quiet. We're not mad at you, not mad at the job. Nobody bumped us on the subway. There is absolutely nothing wrong. And I think this is one of the hardest concepts for sometimes for ladies to get. Sometimes it's nothing. It's just this. Hey, honey, are you all right? Yeah, I'm good. You, what's, what's going on? Well, nothing's going on. Well, why do you look like you're upset? I don't know why I look upset. I'm not upset. But you look like, you know, you look different. What the hell do you mean I look different? No, I'm just like, like, you're kind of like, and your voice is like, what, what, what the hell are you talking about? My voice is, you know what, God damn it. Uh, now he's mad at you. So, ladies, if he says nothing's going on, if he's all right, take his word for it. Nothing's going on. He's all right. Today, nothing's wrong. 
Those are my six things that are absolutely true of all men. All men, everywhere. We all believe the same. We might not all say the same, but we all believe the same. I am EJ80 Proof. Thanks for watching.